What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They make gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description below. We do have some leaks for some of the maps that will be coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now of course, this has been leaked and found out by the gaming revolution. and He has been pretty much spot on with everything since the game was announced. And so all the leaks leading up to, up to the game and of course some leaks now. So... He definitely gets full credit for all the leak information, but I did find it very interesting some of the maps that they are bringing to the game. You're looking at things like Shipment. Of course, Shipment is the one of these smaller maps, you know, of course, from COD 4. It's been talked about that it was going to be just a 2v2 map, but it's also been leaked that it has been tested on a 6v6 map. But they said it does not look like the original Shipment. That some things had been changed up. Also, Wet Work, which I really did enjoy. That was a really good map from some previous uh, Modern Warfare games. Um, and of course, uh, everyone's favorite rust. And now that's been also kind of talked about as a two V two map, but possibly a six V six map as well. And of course, there's some other maps that have been leaked. Of course, some of these names, uh, who knows if they're exactly what's going to be on the finished product, but of course, things like vacant, uh, vacant broadcast boneyard backlot. Now, some of these maps they say are taken from the spec ops map because the spec ops maps absolutely massive you know you cannot access all parts of the spec ops map yet that's going to be for later on later on down the road when they release things for spec ops post launch but a lot of these maps that they're designing that are the newer maps in the game are coming from that spec ops map uh, a lot of people also are believing um, that the spec ops map uh, in its entirety is going to be the Battle Royale map when Battle Royale is released early next year. Of course, that is just leaking kind of rumor right now so far, but it seems like a Battle Royale will be coming to the game. And it looks like that Spec Ops map opened all the way up will be the Battle Royale map also. It is a pretty neat idea that they took a lot of the smaller parts of, those, uh, of that large map and made it individual multiplayer maps. I think their idea overall is, is pretty interesting the way they have done that. But I do believe that bringing back maps from past Modern Warfare games is going to be a big hit, in my opinion. Because I know right now, with the maps in game, it's kind of mixed opinions. You know, on the 6v6, 10v10 maps, only two uh, big maps for, uh, you know, for the large 32 versus 32 mode. There's also some rumors for some new maps for it, at least one, and maybe also a 50v50 map for a large mode. So it looks like we're going to be getting a good steady stream of content. Now, there's no specific date on when this will be coming out. Of course, all of these maps will be free. And in my opinion, I think if they released one to two maps per month, I think that would be a pretty good pace. That way we get something new and fresh, you know, kind of month in and month out. And of course, the developers did say back before the game was released that they wanted to have a, a steady stream of post-launch content. And they've kind of hinted at the same thing over the past few days, even though they have not really kind of come out and, and said exactly what and when they're going to start this post-launch content. But I think overall, if it's out pretty quick, you know, with, like I said, a, a few maps every couple months, if it's some of the classic maps that people really enjoy, along with some of the new maps that they have designed, I think the, uh, the map pool will become a lot better in a lot of people's opinion. So overall, I am pretty excited to see what maps we do get within the game. Like I said, I think it's a smart plan to start bringing some of those older maps in the game because right now it's kind of mixed opinions, uh, you know, about these maps. So some of the older maps will be a good idea. There, there's a lot of Call of Duty games that they can pick maps from. COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare th uh, 3. You could do a lot of things within those maps. You could even bring back some of the maps that they had designed in some of their more recent titles as well if you'd want. But I think overall we're looking to a pretty bright future when it comes to DLC. And like I said, hopefully the content will be a pretty steady stream and not just kind of slow. You know, uh, I'm, I'm wanting these maps to come out pretty quickly so we all have something new and fresh to play. Because right now the, it's kind of a mix-up. You know, we have 10v10 maps. We have maps for the big modes. We have maps for smaller modes. And it's kind of just a mix-up. You know, we don't have just a lot of maps for one individual mode. So I think we start to get a, a more of a, a stream of this content we will start to see these map pools fill out for each individual game size anyway guys leave me a comment let me know your thoughts what maps are you looking forward to seeing coming back what maps would you like to see remastered and what kind of map design would you like to see just overall for the new maps of course if you like the video guys make sure you hit the like 
If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you do have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.